Hare Krishna. The denial of free will converts God into the devil who makes us sin and suffer. Some people say that actually we have no free will. God is the supreme controller and he is doing everything even through us. And they may speak this in a mood of devotion talking about their absolute surrender to God. However, does it, if we examine this idea philosophically, it has very troubling implications. We see that in life people do wrong things and people suffer terribly because of their wrong actions and they make others suffer. Suppose somebody drinks a lot of alcohol and then they drive drunk and drive over some innocent people and kill them. Now if they have no free will and God is the supreme controller then that would mean God is responsible for their misdeeds. And if God is responsible for their misdeeds, that would mean that God is not good, that God is bad. That we do wrong things, so it is we who have been programmed by God to do wrong things. And then we have to suffer the consequences of those wrong things, which is even more uh, reprehensible. Uh, uh, if somebody is just programmed to suffer and make others suffer, and they have no capacity, no way to resist that, then how is that kind of God, God? How is He good? So the denial of free will converts God into devil, and that's why the Bhagavad Gita is very categorical in asserting that we do have free will. Towards its end, the Bhagavad Gita states to Arjun that yathechasi tatha kuru. Now in 18.63 it says, deliberate and do as you desire. So yatha ichasi. This very statement acknowledges that Arjun has free will. And not only that, even before Krishna tells very clearly that he doesn't take agency for the actions that people are doing. He says that in fifth chapter when he's talking about etiology, etiology is the analysis of causality. Who is doing what? There he very categorically states that actually he doesn't take muhiyanti jantavaha it is the souls who are deluded they do various actions he says that he doesn't take responsibility for people's good actions or bad actions it is those people who are deluded they do right they do wrong things sometimes so god is supremely independent and he has given all of us independence and uh, he, our surrender is to understand that we have free will and then to use that free will for serving him. To the extent we do that, to that extent we bring auspiciousness in our life. So God is all good and his goodness is that he constantly gives us guidance so that we can use our free will wisely. Thank you. Hare Krishna.